Hi, welcome back. Day three of lockdown and lesson three. Now, once again, I want to thank you guys for the, the kind words that you're putting on social media and the comments you're giving. I really, really appreciate it. And also, if you are not happy about something, if I'm going too fast, if I'm not explaining something correctly, please comment also because I want to know. Normally, it takes us months to prepare a, a, an online course at IT Varsity and it takes an entire team of people to do it. But uh, this one I'm doing on the fly. So, you know, it's, it's kind of, kind of uh, rushed compared to how we normally do things. So I'm going to need your guidance. If there's anything you're not clear about, please let me know. I really, really want to know. And also, don't forget to share this with others. I will appreciate that also and they will appreciate it. So as we continue into the lockdown, just remember, don't think too much about it. Keep yourself busy. Keep yourself occupied with something constructive like coding. And today we're going to start actual coding and I'm so happy. Okay, for starters, make sure that everything is ready. Number one, that your folder is open. Remember, we made a folder inside documents called quiz app and inside there we created our index.html file. Now, if you had any trouble with any of this, please drop me a, a comment in, in, in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to, to assist you. Once you, you've got the folder open, make sure you've got brackets open. Again, if you had any difficulty downloading and installing brackets, just let me know. And then finally, I've got my browser open and ready to go. All right. The first thing we're going to do is to click on index.html in brackets. When you click on index.html, you don't have to open any files. Automatically, the file opens by itself. Brackets just knows to open it up. Okay, are you ready? Now we're going to do our first line of code. So we're going to start off with this. This is called an open angle bracket. Now in in school, we taught that this is the less than sign, but uh, in coding, we call it the angle bracket. So open angle bracket, the letter P and followed by a close angle bracket. Now see what happened. When we typed open angle bracket P close angle bracket, automatically this section appeared. We didn't type this. I didn't type it, but it appeared on the screen automatically. Now, this was done by brackets. This is just one of the ways that brackets makes our lives easier. It predicts what we're going to type next and it adds it in pretty much like, like you know, your, your cell phone, how it predicts your, your next word. Now, what are these strange looking things? These things are known as HTML tags. Now, in HTML, that's the language we're coding in right now. That's the language of the web. Every single website in the world is developed or is written in HTML. So in HTML, these are known as tags and all your text and other things that you're going to display on the screen goes between tags. Now this section that I've just highlighted, this is called the open tag and this is called the close tag. And the P signifies that there's going to be a paragraph between them. So this is the open paragraph tag and this is the close paragraph tag. So let's type in some text inside there. Something simple. Hello everyone. So you can see how I placed it between the two paragraph tags. Now you'll notice something else also. When you click on one tag, the other becomes highlighted automatically. That's another thing that brackets helps us with. So if you click on the close tag, the open tag becomes highlighted and vice versa. So that, my friends, is your first line of code. Now let's go and test this. Before you do anything, let's hit save. You can hit control S or command S or go to file and just click on save. Now let, before I save, I want to show you something. Do you notice this little dot just before the word index? there and there. 
that dot basically means that your 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 file hasn't been saved so see what happens when i save it hit save and the dot is gone and our file is saved now we need to transfer this file to the browser how do we do that we go back to our folder and on the index.html fi uh, file right click and then go to open with and depends what browser you're using i'm using chrome you could be using like i said the other day firefox or internet explorer or microsoft edge or any browser that you have so i'm going to click on google chrome and immediately my file opens up there hello everyone if you've come this far give yourself a pat on the back congratulations you've just done your first line of code you've taken your first step towards developing a fully fledged mobile app fantastic now let's explain what happened here what exactly happened here is that we coded in some HTML and inside that HTML we, we put in some text and we saved this file when we sent this file to the browser the browser interpreted the HTML in other words it understood that index.html is actually an HTML file and that it has HTML tags. So the browser removed the tags and just displayed what you intended it to display, which is hello everyone. Awesome. Now let's go back to brackets and have a little fun. We'll add another paragraph tag. save it and go back to the browser now when you go to the browser you'll see that the new tags uh, that you've put doesn't appear and the reason for that is the browser doesn't know at this stage that we we've actually changed our code so what you're going to need to do is to refresh the browser when you refresh you'll see your text appearing there let's add another one now you can add a multi-line paragraph as as long as as you want queen bra quick brown fox not box jumps over the lazy uh, dog now i'm just gonna copy this and paste it a few times okay and then save it back in the browser I refresh and you can see we've got paragraphs appearing so have fun with this try out different paragraphs try out you know add in whatever text you want as many paragraphs as you want and keep saving and refreshing and see how it goes now we'll wrap it up there for today tomorrow we'll look at adding different types and different sizes of text